For USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez with another Fritz tip for you today. A couple of videos back we were looking at, I think it's about three, three weeks ago as I recall, we were looking at end game training in the Fritz software where you go to training, select end game training, and you would get a list of end games that you could play against Fritz that you could practice. What we did not cover in that video, and we're going to talk a little bit about today, is kind of an advanced concept for advanced users. Advanced in that you need to know about files and folders, how to create files, uh, you know, what folder you put them in, that type of thing. So if you don't know how to do all that, first of all, you should learn, but if you don't know how to do all that, don't worry about it. Come back to this video later after you've learned those techniques. This is for people that want to customize their own end game training in Fritz. You can create your own database of end game positions. The end game training database, by the way, the default one is simply a bunch of end game positions. That's all it is. There's nothing special about it. It's just a, a regular Fritz database, but instead of being complete games, they're just end game positions. You can create your own using any end game position that you want to put in there. You can put it in the default database if you want to. I recommend not doing that. If you decide you want to reinstall the software later, you're going to wind up possibly overwriting it. So, what I suggest is you create your own database to put your end game positions in that you want to train against Fritz. Play these end game positions against Fritz. To create a database though, you go to the application menu, this button in the upper left hand corner, click on it, go to new and new database. Just pick the folder, you know, navigate through, go to computer, go to the drive, go to the folder, type in whatever you want to call it. I've created one elsewhere, it's not in this folder. I've created another one called Endgames 2 and that is where uh, where I'm going to put all of my end game positions I want to practice uh, with against Fritz. But that's how you do it. You just go to this button, new, new database, and just figure out where you want to put it, name it down here, click create new and you got it. Then when you're back to your main chessboard screen, what you want to do now is hit new game. You don't really have to, but you can just click new game if you want to, just start fresh. There we go. Then you go up to insert, the insert tab, select position setup, and this lets you set up a position on the board. And I'm going to have to uh, grab a book here, so if you hear some rattling, that's just me. And what you're going to do is click clear board, and we've covered this in another video, how to set up a position. And we're going to take a position out of a book, which I find really interesting, and we're going to set it up on the board here. What's cool about this end game position? is that with proper play, with white to move and with proper play, white can actually draw this position even though it's a rook against two pawns. That's the position that we want. We want white to move. Make sure when you set up a position you always get the side to move correct. That's very important to be aware of that. We've talked about that before. When it's done you click OK. There's your position. And now you go back to the green button up here. Save game as. Pick the database you want to save it into. There's my Endgames 02 that I created in the first step before I started the video. Click New Open, and now I can name it. And I can name it whatever I want to, but I'm going to just put 2PVR. And then just to be organized, I just like to put White to Move. I don't need to put any kind of a uh, year, month, and day there. That's not terribly important. You don't even need to put anything in any other field because the only thing that you're really worrying about is the way it's going to appear in your game list for your uh, for your in-game training. So two pawns versus rook, white to move, click OK, and now it's saved. There we are. After you put in a bunch of these kind of positions, you just go back to the Home tab, click New Game, and you don't even have to do that. Go to Insert, click Position Setup, click clear board and just set up a new position, save that one, save as many end game positions as you want to. And when you're done, there's another step that's important. You need to tell Fritz where these games are. You're going to change the default under end game training to your new database. So what you're going to do now is go back to the application menu up here, go to options. You have a bunch of tabs up here at the top for all kinds of different stuff and what you want to find is training tab up here, in-game training, 
and you can simply click the browse button and what that will do will be bring up a list of all the folders on your hard drive basically it's going to allow you to pick a pick a file within a folder you just click browse and you get your standard file select dialog just you go to computer go to the drive click on the folder click end games 02 in this case for me click open and now that's my default end game training so just click the browse button and go to the database that you created way back in step one click OK and now when you come up to training and pick end game training there's our two pawns versus rook with white to move there's the position that we just set up and I can click OK here and I can practice that end game against the computer and as I said it's actually possible for white to draw here the trick is and it's all laid out in the book once I've learned the technique from the book that I'm working with I can just practice this whenever I want to to make sure that I remember it the trick is you've got to get black into a position where, where black takes one pawn then has to give up the rook to get rid of the other white pawn so it just winds up being king versus king and that's a draw that's a hint in case you want to try this position yourself it is actually possible for white to draw here if white moves first. So try it out for yourself. Um, maybe have Fritz play it out for you if you can't find the solution, but it should be possible for white to draw. But that's how you change the end game training. You create your own database, set up your own positions, and then you can train with them against Fritz. Because as we've seen before, and, and users have, have brought this up in the past, if you uh, look at the original end game training, that comes with Fritz. There are a lot of end games there, but they tend to be very simple endings. There's there's a bunch of them, but they tend to be rather simple, rather easy ones. If you want something more elaborate, you can add them either to this database, the regular end game training database, or you can create your own. As I said, I prefer to create my own because I don't want to accidentally overwrite my hard work. So we'll just switch back to end games too. And now when I click end game training, there's the database that I'm gradually putting together with different end game positions. Till next time for USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez. Thanks for watching.